Beach. CBS 58's Laura Rodriguez is live now with local reaction. Laura? Michelle, a young man opened up to me about the struggles he has faced because he is undocumented. He says the bipartisan plan is definitely progress. However, he knows there is still a lot of work to be done. Yeah, that's me reading my book. 21 year old Dennis Montero is a dreamer. In every sense of the word, not just simply because of uh, my status. Montero has pushed for the DREAM Act to pass during his two years as a member of Youth Empowered in the Struggle. He thinks today's bipartisan Senate proposal is a step in the right direction. Now the time, and uh, I have no doubts that immigration reform will be passed uh, this year. Wisconsin Immigrant Rights Group Voces de la Frontera has been at the forefront of demanding immigration reform. The executive director seemed optimistic about today's plan, but she's concerned about the specifics, like the financial cost of becoming a citizen. I think, you know, access is important, that it be broad. Montero is one of more than 11 million people who hope to become a citizen of the United States one day. He feels a change in his legal status would change his life for the better. Besides crying for like a whole day, uh, I, I don't... It's just, it would open up so many opportunities. Opportunities like working at a local library or even receiving federal aid to finish college. Everyone's energized, but um, there's no guarantees that this is going to come to fruition. Montero plans to continue doing his part by speaking out instead of hiding in fear. He says although it's been difficult, there is one thing that has carried him through it all. It's hope, you know, and... Um, that's what brought us here, and that's that's why you know even living with those limited choices is still is still better than you know having no dreams at all. Neither of Wisconsin senators were part of the group of eight senators that drafted the bipartisan plan, but they did email us their comments. Senator Ron Johnson released a statement that says, in part, our immigration and border security system is obviously broken. I will certainly look at bipartisan efforts to address this serious national issue. And Democrat Tammy Baldwin, also showing support, says this bipartisan blueprint for immigration reform is a step forward in the right direction. Our immigration system is broken, and we need to find common ground working across party lines to fix it. Mike? Laura, thank you. The